Are you a foodie? Do you binge Top Chef and Chef's Table and want to expand into your reading? Why not try food writing? Hey everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So I have a different kind of video for you. So it is actually an unboxing. So Kim from Bookmarks and Breadsticks was so kind to send this box to me to review. And this is a really special box. It's limited edition and it's in honor of her father who recently passed away due to cancer. As soon as I saw that that's what this box was for and the book that was in it, and she asked if anyone would be interested in reviewing it. I was like, I would absolutely love to. So I'm really excited. Okay, so I haven't opened this box yet. I just opened the tape to make it easier to open on camera. So everything in this box is identical to what a customer would get whenever you order it online. And there is a product brochure in here that articulates everything in the box. So this specific box retails at $55 plus shipping. And part of that is because one of the things that her father did was donate to the Long Island Helping Hands rescue mission and the food pantry. So the increased cost is because those extra funds are going to be used to donate to the food pantry, which I believe she said $45 actually covers a bag of groceries for a family. So even just a little bit of money goes a long way. And whenever you order this online, you also have the option to pay $65 or $75 to increase the donation amount to Helping Hands Rescue Mission Long Island. I will link below her video where she talks about this box as well as where you can buy the box. Available four times a year, this Read It and Eat subscription box focuses on everything foodie and bookish. And they believe in supporting small businesses, family businesses, and by POC enterprises. They also believe in giving back to the community and the box program always has some kind of donation component to it. Each box always contains a nonfiction food writing book, a delicious food item that supports small business by POC owners, female owners, or family owned businesses made in the U.S., bookish and foodie goodies, as well as a donation component with a Chicago nonprofit. So everything about that already makes me really excited to jump into this, especially the donation component. I don't know of any other box that has that. So while you are getting a box for yourself to enjoy, you are also donating to worthy causes and it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> Let's jump in. So when you first open it, we have some tissue paper. So I see we have the um, brochure with all the information. It does have a lovely intro about her father and his life. He it was from Iran. And so this box is Persian themed to honor his heritage. And I just absolutely love that she got to incorporate her father into something that she's passionate about. Also, I see we have, are these stickers? Oh my gosh. I think these are stickers. I love stickers. Oh, these are so cute. So these stickers are made by Sunbreeze Studios, and you can find them on Etsy, Instagram, and Twitter. So we have a little pomegranate. 
And we also have Kim's logo, bookmarks and breadsticks. I just love it, it's so cute. So already I am just super hyped. And removing the tissue paper, the next thing I see is this. Everything is very well packaged, by the way. So this is from Little Persian Learning, and it does come with a code for 15% off your first order. And it is a lovely card for the Persian New Year. And I just think that's gorgeous. So it's got Farsi at the bottom. And the inside is blank, so you can fill in what you'd like. And then the back has, there we go, the phrase in English and Farsi. Oh, that's so exciting. And it also comes with this really nice cream envelope, so you can mail it. Oh, these are so pretty. I almost hate to write on these when they're this gorgeous. Ah, uh, I love this. Next, we're going to put that on the floor. Ooh. Next is Persian Trail Mix Celebration Ajil. It's a blend of the finest mulberries, dates, nuts, sour cherries, and golden berries sourced from around the globe. It's gluten-free and certified vegan, no added sugar and no preservatives. But it looks so good. And it's quite, like it's a normal size bag. It looks really good. I love all the ingredients in here. I'm a huge fan of dates. And this looks so good. So you can snack while you read the book. And I do believe this is also from, I think it's either a local business to her or it is definitely a independent business. So in every box, you're supporting small businesses. Next we have, ooh, this is really cool. So this is from the same um, little Persian learning company. And it is a little mini size poster of like fruits and vegetables. And it's got the names written in Farsi as well as I'm assuming like the American alphabet. So you know how to pronounce it. That is so cool. So you can learn a little bit of Farsi while you're enjoying the stuff in this box. Oh, this is so cool. I just think Farsi is such a cool language, and I don't think I'm smart enough to learn it, but I love that you can learn little things and just incorporate a little bit more into your knowledge. And this is really quality paper. It's that thick cardstock, and the art on here is really pretty. So pretty. And then the very last thing is the book, which I already know what it is. And I am so insanely excited about it. I'm so excited. So let's open it together. Also very well packaged. And I love that the paper she used is food related. Very cute. So the book is Persepolis, and this is book one, The Story of a Childhood by Marjane Satrapi. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a autobiographical memoir of growing up in Iran during the revolution. I have read this twice before, and I highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. The art is black and white, but it's very beautiful, and she has a great way of using such a small space to convey so many emotions, and I remember I just, I cried at the end of this, and it's a great way to 
get another perspective because personally, I never learned about this in school. I just happened to know about it because one of my grandfathers was stationed in Iran around the time of the revolution. And that's how I learned about it. So this is divided into two books. So this one focuses on her childhood and the second book, you can actually get at any independent bookstore. I just absolutely love it. Is this cover just not gorgeous? I love the red with the black accents and the little pop of color. It smells so freaking good. It smells so good. So that's always a plus. Thank you, Kim, so much for sharing this with me to review this whole box. I can really tell how much love and care you put into it. And I can really feel your father's Persian roots in all the items in here. So I just think that makes for such a quality special box. Everything is such good quality. The paper products, the stickers, they're just very well made. And you can tell there was a lot of love and care that went into this. Again, part of the component of any box from Bookmarks and Breadsticks, not just this one, has a donation component. On this box, it says a minimum of $5 is going to be used to buy shelf staple goods for the food pantry, which has more need than ever thanks to the pandemic. And that is actually on the brochure that comes in the box. So again, you also have the option to pay a little bit more and that way your donation increases and provides more help for this amazing nonprofit organization. I absolutely love this box and I can really tell how special it is and how much love you put into this box. And I think I think your dad would be really proud <laughs> and I think he would love everything that went into this. Thank you so much for sending me a box to review and for all of those watching, please go check out this box, go check out Kim's channel. She does do book reviews on top of having a side business. She works incredibly hard. And it definitely shows in everything that she does. As always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. If you just want to let me know you're here, but you don't have anything to add, please let me know what your favorite component of this box was. I'm interested to see which were your favorites. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.